$500,000 in real life, quite a lot of money and very hard to get. Whereas in Bloxburg, it's basically pennies and you can get that within a few hours. Well, maybe not with the new update. 30,000. But in today's video, we're seeing what kind of house we can build with $500,000. As you can see, I've got exactly 500,000, five, I've got exactly $500,000. Well, I've got $505,000, okay? I've got an extra $5. Don't come for me. And with all that said, let's get started. So if you have a 500k house in Bloxburg, I'm guessing that you're going to have a garage. And not just any garage. You're going to have a double garage. And look, building that whole garage, we've used only $2,500. So only, what is that? What maths is that? I think that's 0.5% of the budget. <sighs> Just next door to this, I think we're gonna have like an office or a snug. Then here's the main entry. Then along here, we want the lounge room. And the key is 500K, it's sort of between normal house and mansion. So rather than making it like, whoa, look at my lounge room. We're gonna be smart. We're only gonna make it six by six or whatever the hell that is. I'm gonna give it quite large corridors. I'd say three is a good one for a 500K house. And we're gonna actually have this wrap round as sort of an L-shaped conservatory. Then through here is gonna take us into the kitchen, which once again is gonna be an L-shaped. We just love L today. Then finally here is going to be a utility room and a bathroom. Here is the dimensions. Then as we go upstairs, we're pretty much going to make it all the same apart from, of course, the garage will be cut off. Now, right now, this looks like jumble, jimble, jumble, jumble. So it's now time to fix all of that with the roofs. Now, I highly doubt it, but <gasps> no way we're going to be able to do this in one swoop. No, okay, we're not. I thought maybe we'd be able to get the roofs in one go, but then I remembered it's Bloxburg and Bloxburg hates me. So obviously I want big pointy roofs along these square bits here, kind of like arrow shapes. And why, why is it doing it like this? No, thank you. No, thank you, no thank And if on your roofs you ever have silly little bits like this, they just want to annoy the hell out of you. That is the only reason they're here. Simply add a chimney, because at the end of the day, you're the boss. And you might be wondering, what's this tiny little crevice crumb here? This is actually going to be our grand porchway. So forget that, actually. Forget whatever that was about to be, piece of rubbish. Let's blimmin' well do a skylight, even on the front porch. That is is the kind of magic I want this 500k house to have. So we are going to be going for kind of, I'm going to have to turn my brightness up. Sorry, my eyesight is terrible. A linen mixed with a soft light stone gray panel. Now you might be wondering, Reese's, this is looking very strange. Some would say disgusting. And quite frankly, I agree with you. So next up, we're going to be fixing that with these wall trims. We're actually going to be making these also shingles. And I already know what you're thinking, guys. What? Are these roofs? Well, remember I said these were going to be the skylight rooms. And whoever's idea it was to make the arrows in blocks by grey, where are they? Where? 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 I can never blimmin' find it. And there we go. Now, I know this looks a little bit like um, a factory. So I'm actually deciding to change these top roofs to be a little bit more white and beautiful. And then I just added a bunch of pillars. And here you are catching me doing the driveway. But just before we do that, I genuinely don't think this looks that bad, guys. And again, we've got to consider this is a budget of $500,000 has built this. We'll wait till the windows are in until we make any rash decisions. As for the driveway, I wanted it to wrap around a little bit like this. And the rest is, of course, going to be a striped grass. You know what? This is going to be something else. We're going to make this plain. Because otherwise it goes mental, mental, chicken, oriental. And notice, guys, we've still used only $35,000. And the key is with building is to always outline everything with fences. And, of course, move the mailbox out of the way. But how gorgeous is this starting to look now? And we haven't even added the windows or any of the plants. So I'm going to do a little finger snap. And there we go. We now have my front driveway. And guys, I'm loving this. Now, I'm not going to lie. The plants did take quite a chunk out of the budget. Now, I my goal is to go inside with $400,000 flat. So that means we have about $44,000 for the windows. Now, as for the windows, this one here is actually going to be very, very important. And I kind of want to do something a little bit special with the windows. Now, obviously, I know this is quite a brave build to do it on, the one that we've got a budget for. But I was wondering, if we were to put two squares on top of each other, I actually think that's matching the vibe I wanted here. And if you're sat there wondering, well, Reese's, what the hell room are you going to put here? This, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be 
the grand staircase. I think for the first time in forever, we could even have a spiral staircase and just look at how grand that is gonna be from the inside. As for the rest of the windows, I feel like it might not match now if we just go and put bog standard traditional ones. So perhaps we could save it with some factory windows. 12 seconds later. And there we have it. Oh, <laughs> it's so much better. <laughs> this looks Wonderful. I was thinking a little bench under here could help that little weird gap. And of course we can have some plants that are just wild. And then I don't want anything too big in here, but we can just make it like a cute little secret garden area. That's always been my dream to have a little secret garden in my actual big garden. Now, normally I'd go and scatter these plant pots everywhere, but they're actually $600 each. So we're just gonna put one. Actually, we're not even gonna put one. We're just gonna put a fountain in the middle there. So let's now head inside where it is anything but stunning. Oh my God, what is that? So I always recommend plastering the walls before you do anything, which basically just means coloring them and adding all the wall trims. So that is all the walls plastered downstairs. But I had a little eureka moment. I was like, eureka! wait, we've got loads more money than I thought. No, we haven't added any of the windows around the back or in the upstairs back. So I thought, why don't together we build the upstairs floor plan? So I was thinking we of course need a gigantic big hallway. So I was thinking that starts from about here and that will continue us through into these areas. And as long as the hallway is too wide at all times, I'm happy. And I think with a $500,000 house, we need it to be at least five bedrooms. And as for the floors, we're gonna be doing, I think maybe dark top, but maybe making it using the color wheel a tiny bit lighter. And to me, I think the most appropriate doors to go in this house are going to be the panel doors. So as you can see, we have five bedrooms, three bathrooms. But anyway, I am that one person who just spends ages trying to get to a point. Like I never ever reach my point. So we moved to LA. My father gets a job at the palm restaurant. My uncle Junior works there, who is a Jehovah's Witness. Like I've been saying we need to add these windows for the last 25 minutes. So finally, I'm actually gonna add them now. But here we go, guys. I'd say about 10 minutes later. I'd say it took me in total maybe 10, 15 minutes to add all these windows and plaster all the walls. Now, don't worry. We're gonna make some of these rooms different colors. It's just very aesthetic on the eye for you guys at home and me building when everything looks sort of creamy. <laughs> creamy. I love creamy things. Criminal offensive. Side eye. No, when everything looks cream and white and just nice and bright. And I also added this room down here. I thought we could have a downstairs toilet in the corner. But we're not gonna be starting with the toilet. We're gonna be starting with the kitchen dining space. So like I said, I haven't actually decided the layout of this house at all yet. But I do think we should have a dining room in here, whether or not this ends up being the formal dining room. Oh, and then of course, we'll put the placemats on it. Because of course, part of this challenge is not, oh, let's build an empty house, make everything basic. You're basic. No. This is meant to be what can 500k realistically buy you. Now, not gonna lie, starting to think I might have been a little bit ambitious. Like this house is very, very large. If you ever can't find plates, because when you look up plate, absolutely nothing comes up. However, if you look up tableware, it comes up with this secret category filled with plates and bowls and other things like that. I'm also adding lots of doors because we love lots of natural light, even though Bloxburg doesn't really know the meaning of the word natural light. As for the kitchen itself, let's head in to modern counters. Cause what prison? We're not in prison. Before I forget, I want to add a French door here imported all the way from La Paris. And that is because otherwise we don't really have a way into this laundry room. Now, something I noticed about newish houses in real life and in Bloxburg is people are obsessed with storage. And to be fair, I understand there is nothing worse than not having enough space in your kitchen. As for cabinets, I've sort of started to go off them a little bit. <laughs> then as for the island, I actually realized guys, if islands come off the wall, they're not actually called an island, which I actually only learned that like the other day. And see how I'm only using three stools? It's very mindful, very demure, very considerate of the budget. Very demure, very mindful. And to tie these two areas in, the dining room and the kitchen, we're gonna be bringing over the same plates and roses. Now for the kitchen, I wouldn't go adding the most expensive fridge. My top pick is this. And it's only $1,200, which is an absolute steal for Block 
Augsburg. In no way am I telling you to use this oven. Never use it. Always splash out on the $4,000 oven, guys. But for example, the microwave, you don't need a luxury microwave. They basically look the same. And something that's very underrated is actually plants in kitchens. They can really look good. And then we'll have some LED lights just underneath the cabinets there. And I'm actually going to delete those doors and put an entertainment center smack bang in the middle. I was hoping we'd still have room for a door. By the end of the day, how much effort is it just to... Walk, walk, walk around here. You'd have to be very lazy not to do that. Now, houses these days, they just don't like TVs in their formal living rooms. So I think the formal living room is going to go down there and we're just not going to put a TV in it. However, I still need to be watching my daily True Reese's videos. <laughs> and as for the sofa, we definitely need an L-shaped sofa. However, I'm going to be using the sophisticated one because the L-shaped sofa Bloxburg has to offer. If you know, <laughs> you know. And I've gone for this very intriguing blue color. That's the hex code because some of you guys sometimes ask my hex code. I love that. And I love that I've just matched it with the coffee table. And it has been ages since I've used a hairpin dresser. And honestly, guys, I love this. And also, why am I talking like anime? Y'all, I love this. A few minutes later. So since you've just basically seen me do a lounge room, we're going to do the formal one because we can do it very, very quickly. Now, this room here is actually going to have a royal blue tint. And I'm actually excited to use this blue in an upstairs bedroom. I have a very good plan. So I actually think the Victorian one might be a little bit too much. We're going to have a traditional sofa with perhaps the wicker armchair and what kind of coffee table can we have? I'm thinking maybe a round one. In this part here, I was actually thinking we could do like a built-in, you know, bay window seat. So again, we are going to be using the sophisticated sofas. We may have to use some basic shapes. Oh, that looks so cute and cozy. The pillows made all the difference on that one. And I was also hoping we could have a piano, but now I feel like I might have messed it up. Like, do we even have room for one anymore? I mean, this room is massive. And as for the chandeliers, we're just going to use these ones. Very cheap, I'd say. Five hundred dollars doesn't sound cheap but for a chandelier it actually is and then we will treat ourselves to these which are a little bit pricey it's a thousand dollars for the both of them but i personally just think that goes so well in the corner there and then we'll finish it off with some structural beams so with that done i am now going to decorate the hallway which to be fair guys i'm just going to use all of the decor that we've used so far and as for the lighting in here i will be upgrading it slightly and honestly one of my main aims of this video is to actually inspire you guys to go work for that 500k but honestly if you grinded maybe an hour every day for a week. Here, I don't want to talk to you. I think you're totally in the wrong. And oh my gosh, I've just realised we can't have a toilet here. This is the front blimmin' door. I'm so dumb. We were so obsessed with those darn windows. We forgot this porch way. Oh, that looks beautiful. And so we'll just finish it off with our hat stands and our umbrella stand. But I'm so happy with this hallway. There's honestly nothing better than a big grand hallway. It just makes the house look enormous. So next up, shall we go and do the study? We already have all the bookshelves for it, but the colour scheme is going to be dark in here. The walls are basically going to be what the floor used to be. So once again, we're going to treat ourselves to these chandeliers. I really need to understand what a treat means. Treat, Reese's, is once every or so often, not every other room. And I love how we have this perfect little indent there for the desk. So we can actually put it quite far back and maybe even fit room for a meeting table or something. Now, obviously, this isn't to just sit at, but it's for if you have, like meetings. I love this. That is such a cute office. As for the garage, I've just realized we haven't even added a door going into here. So I guess we just put that here and then maybe move this bookcase up a little bit. And we still have over half of our budget remaining. Now, if this video ends up being so long, I honestly won't be surprised. So we'll have one other car in here and the rest is just going to be boxes and maintenance, I reckon. So that's our little garage done. I was going to put a bathroom here. Oh, yes, but I was going to... <laughs> Basically, we can put a bathroom here now because obviously we had to get rid of that one there. So it's actually a very big downstairs bathroom. And I'm going to kind of make it modern in here. Like we're going to have actually a linen wall either side and then tiled walls at the end. I'm actually going to move this window over so we can even have a shower down here. I'm also going to add three of these, but we'll only have plants in one. I'm actually have bathroom things in the other ones. That's quite a cute area. And then we have this whole wall along here for basically plumbing. So, so we can go and add a dual sink here. Now that is most people's family bathroom that we have just put downstairs. So of course, this video isn't for everyone. This is for people who want a mansion on a budget. As for the laundry room, that's basically just the same as what we've done. We'll add the sinks in again. And then either side is where we're going to stack up the laundry and 
washers. Now finally downstairs before we go upstairs, which is gonna be amazing fun. We now have just sort of this free room. We already have a lounge room. We already have a kitchen and a dining room. I personally don't think that making this a big dining room would be very smart. 12 seconds later. And then as you come round, we're actually gonna have the main dining table. And it's been absolutely yonk since I've used these chairs, but they're kind of a, they're a little sleigh, aren't they? Oh my gosh, I almost forgot we had a skylight in here. I mean, what the hell? What's that? Don't know what happened with that one there. I'll get that out of here. But that's a nice surprise. We get lots of natural light in here now. For some reason, no, I actually love it. Oh, obviously, if you have a house like this, you're probably going to want a big patio back garden. Now, I'm not actually going to build one today, but I will just add some grass out here to sort of show you how big that you could have it in this house. And just to be that extra little bit more realistic, we'll even add the fences in. But this is sort of how I'd have it with mostly grass, a little bit of patio, and look how much room you get there. That's quite big. Obviously the back of this could do with a little bit of work, but I'm just, I'm adoring this so far. So that is the entirety of downstairs done. As we head upstairs, guys, the family bathroom, not gonna lie, I'm gonna speed up. And I also just decorated the hallway while I was at it, but yeah, we've done the bathrooms now. So this bedroom has a, a massive bathroom, but then also a massive closet. So I thought I could do the closet now while we're here. And it's gonna consist of basically this, this, and funnily enough, cabinets as well. So so we're gonna be using the oven cabinets. And I actually showed this in one of my other videos, but you can put these clothes inside of the dressers to make them look like closets. Wow! Like how sick and unique does that look? And then I was thinking in this part here by the window, we could put the mirror. And since it's so big in here, we could probably even get away with having a little island. As for the actual bedroom then, we're gonna have the big master bed along here. And I think I'm gonna use the one with the tall headboard. Either side, we are gonna be putting the fancy furniture. It's getting a little bit more, you know, upgraded in this room. And then as for this gigantic space, we're of course just gonna add a little seating bit because this is what big master bedrooms tend to have. And finally, we'll just have two of those decorative chairs, which I might match the stools to. Now I'm only gonna do one more room. That's the nursery done, by the way. But remember how I said I had good plans for the blue? That is basically gonna be to make my dream in real life room, which is basically a Ralph Lauren themed room. If you didn't know, I love Ralph Lauren. I'm literally obsessed with it. So we're gonna actually be in fact having a whole entertainment system in this room, but making it all planks and dark because that's sort of the Ralph Lauren vibe, dark oak. The bed can be the same one as in the master bedroom. I feel like a big cool gaming chair or something that could go there. And I've just realized we still have $100,000 left, guys, which means we've spent less than 400K so far. I know we obviously have a couple of rooms left to do. And there we go. So now let me quickly speed build the final few rooms. And with that, guys, the $500,000 house is built. So y'all, I think the first thing we need to look at is the value, which is $425,000 dollars which makes sense because we have sixty six thousand dollars left so i'm just going to show you can build a five bedroom mansion with four hundred thousand dollars which is insane this is one of the biggest bestest houses i've ever created from the front garden the splendor i mean i don't know why it's glitchy 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 but other than that this is absolutely stunning but yes this exterior just definitely needed some paying attention to as you go in you are welcomed into this enormous hallway which to be frank is the same size as some people's houses so we of course have our staircase here but we're not going to be going up there quite yet to the left we have our formal lounge room so this is where you might sit if you're looking for a bit of peace and quiet you're just here with maybe your grandma Grandma having a nice catch up and then you and granny can have a dance party and then of course we have our little loungey bit over here i love this built-in seat must be one of my favorite things i've ever done this actually takes you through into the family room now i do love the skylight i do wish i'd maybe positioned this table directly underneath it but this is quite a nice just extra room. It's a very unnecessary room. We could have made the house much smaller, but I am very glad that we added it. Then just next door to that, we have the main family room. This is probably where you'd be spending a large chunk of your time because the kitchen is here. But just before we get to that, we obviously have our breakfast area surrounded 
by breathtaking views of the fields. Then I love this little sofa here. I could just imagine getting all snug on this, watching the TV, because this is actually the only room that has a TV in, I believe. And then we have our gigantic kitchen. I think, in as far as kitchen goes, it's actually pretty simple. And then, of course, you can get through from here. Now, I've just noticed my first mistake. We're going to ignore that. And then just coming off of that, we have the utility room, which is simple, but again, very, very effective. Just next door to this, we have the downstairs toilet, which is actually one of the nicest bathrooms in the whole house. And if you didn't know, this house has four bathrooms in total. And then finally, we have the garage. Now, if you want to know the value of this plot with two cars on it, that will take it up to $546,000. Now, I was about to think that downstairs is done, but we actually still have the study down here. This is massive, guys. So the study is truly glamorous. This is probably where you'd be running your work so that you can afford this big house. As we go up this staircase, it is so beyond grand. This window looks absolutely stunning. I, I've never built like a window like that, to be fair. So the first room on the left might have to be my favorite room. It's the Ralph Lauren inspired room. It's beautiful in here. Just imagine having this room as a teenager. You would be so happy in it. And of course, this leads around to your little ensuite bathroom that you actually share with one of your siblings. Now this room is incredibly bland. I want to leave it immediately. We then have this gorgeous window, which to be fair, you'll just get in a view of the skylight. Not much there. We then have three more more bedrooms and I almost almost forgot in here another family bathroom there's just so many bathrooms in this house in here was another bedroom you haven't seen I thought it was like a cute pink princess bedroom you actually get a lot of closet space in here as well we then have the nursery in here which <laughs> this blue is so ugly I don't know why I actually did it and finally the master bedroom which comes with its very own lounge room glorious Greek style ensuite bathroom and luxurious closet so that is what 500 thousand dollars gets you in Bloxburg. I do hope you guys liked the video and I'll see you all in the next one.